Hi everyone, my name is Phil and welcome to Phil Does 3D. I'm a multimedia and 3D artist and I stream live on Twitch on Mondays and Tuesdays at 5 p.m. Pacific time if you're in the US, that's midday if you're in Australia, or 1 or 2 a.m. if you're in the UK and Europe. Okay, hey Smurf Berry Barbecue, good to see you buddy. Uh, remember guys, if you miss the live streams, you can catch up by clicking the videos tab on my Twitch channel or going to my YouTube channel forward slash does 3 d uh, You can watch the streams there, but they are behind my Twitch streams. Remember too, if you want to join the Discord server, you can click the About Me section on my Twitch page or type exclamation Discord in Twitch chat at any time. We're going to continue working on the House on the Hollow game, which we are making in the Unreal Engine. We're setting up the ruined church at the moment. I just want to finish that scene today. And if we've got time, then we'll jump into doing the... Probably the Art Nouveau entryway, the... Yeah, the, the main gates. I do also want to do a little bit of work on the uh, covered bridge, but we'll probably do the gates. We'll see how we go. Remember, if you have any questions while I work, feel free to pop into chat and ask. If you just want to pop in and say hello, that's always welcome. But if all you want to do is watch, that's completely fine. Okay. Let's do it. So I'm going to jump straight into Unreal. So yeah, we're working on this um, church entryway. The only thing that's changed since you guys saw it yesterday is I put this statue here in the level. It's just a statue of a, a guy holding a Bible. Alright, so I guess the first things first is we're going to add just a couple more of these fence sections around the outside of the building. So let's duplicate this one. I might actually, instead of separating them, I might just combine them a little bit, I think. How are we going? Where's the other one? Where is the other fence? There it is. Okay. Okay. Good, so there, to there, to there, hang on, there, to there, <laughs> to there. I've got to make sure I get my fence line correct, to there. I thought I had one around the back, but I don't think I do. I've got one there, and then one all the way over there. And then one there, one there. So I think we need one more in through here. So let's duplicate it again. Oh, wrong one. That's the one I want. And let's rotate it, I guess, 90 degrees. Let me redo that. I just want to put angle snap on. Actually, that seems wrong. <laughs> Hang on. Let me have a look. Android Lust. Hey, Android Lust. It's good to see you. And Sniper Girl. We're just getting trying to get my fence line correct here. I guess it really should come around a bit more. And we'll move back and we'll move it over. Okay. 
Okay, so fence line, fence line, fence line. Move it back, move it up. Fence line. And then we've got a big gap, so we've got to probably do something through here. Because the fence line is there. I'm just going to make these a little bit different by moving a couple of things around so the player doesn't notice that we're reusing the same asset over and over again. Uh, I may just get rid of that one. It's good to see you guys. Snubby Girl says, how does it feel to know the next stream you'll likely play the pony game? No. <laughs> uh, I actually had a look at that video of the uh, other game that you mentioned in uh, on the Discord server, the Getting Over It game. <laughs> that looks like torture. Absolute torture. But the pony game just looks terrible. So uh, on a scale of what's worse, I think the pony game's probably worse, but... Anyway. Yes, I'm so looking forward to playing that game. And again, because I, I deleted something, that's why our ground cover disappeared, but it will come back. Don't worry. It makes it easier for me to see anyway. Edward Lust says, quick question. Was this good down for anyone? I don't have it at the moment, but a friend said it went down. Um, it hasn't been down for me. I've had it open for about an hour. I'm not sure when it was supposed to have gone down, <laughs> but it's been fine for me for the last like hour since I logged in. Sniper Girl says, uh, was for me, thought it was just a phone issue. Uh, Android Lust says, Spotify went down around the same time, I think. Ah. Well, again, I, I didn't have the problem that issue. I logged in about an hour ago. I opened up the Discord client and it was fine, but only for the last like hour is while I've been on Discord. Maybe it's country specific. Sniper Girl says uh, the other game is torture. It does look like torture. That other game looks like absolute torture. Uh, she says, getting over a game, you'll be pulling your hair out. <laughs> I don't have that much left. <sighs> Android Lust says it was probably four or five hours ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't on Discord four or five hours ago. The last hour it's been fine though. Why doesn't that surprise me that Discord went down? After all the problems Android Lust has had getting his account back from them because it was hacked. Euro, hey Euro. Euro says, yeah, one of the uh, Google DCs had a burp about 5 p.m. UTC. Ah. So there you go. Discord was down. I think we might just put one more piece of fence between this one and this one, maybe. And what we might do, yeah, let's do that. What we might do is uh, knock it over. So let's duplicate this piece again. I'm duplicating the same piece and I do have three different pieces of fence line. So I'm just wondering if I should Let's grab this one instead to duplicate it. Just so we have a bit of variation going on. Let's duplicate. And for this one, let's move it. That's too far. Right. Now my tree is in the way. How annoying. That's okay. We'll move it forward. I probably shouldn't move it forward. It should be in line. I might have to move the tree. That's probably what we'll do. Uh, Andrew Lust says, no wonder. Funny, I tried making two Discord accounts and it was immediately disabled because of violation of terms of service. <laughs> I suppose my phone number is still stuck on my old account that I requested them to delete. 
Also, <laughs> you've given up trying to get your account back and you've just told them to delete it. Fair enough. So he's waiting around for them to try and get it back for you, make a new account and get, you know, put it all behind you. But yeah, you got to be careful because they, they, particularly if you're doing it on your phone, um, they, they record all of those sort of things now. Like I know with Twitter and with Facebook, uh, you can get into issue, have issues if you try and register multiple accounts with uh, the same phone number, mobile number. Uh, Sniper Girl says, really? WTF? <laughs> Android Lust says, no, I got the old, oh, you got the old account back, but it was so far gone that I wanted to start fresh. Oh, okay, well, good. Kudos to um, to Discord for getting you your uh, account back. That's good to hear, but shame that it was so far gone. So they really went to town on your account, hey? Mm. Starting fresh sounds like a good idea. I hope, um, does that mean though that we're going to lose all those lovely renders of yours from the gallery? That, that'll be a shame. You can always repost them. Because I, I, I'm sure that, you, you know, you, you guys, the work that you guys do and that you post in the gallery, I, I'm sure inspires a lot of other people to do 3D work as well. So I'm really keen to get you guys to make sure uh, that your work is um, in the gallery because it does. It does inspire people because you do lovely work, all of you. So, yeah, it would be a shame to lose those uh, renders of yours Android loss. But you can repost them, and I encourage you to, to do that if closing the account deletes the uh, the post, which it probably will. Snappy Girl says, you did? Wow, good. <laughs> glad you got it back, yeah. Jeez, though, as she says, Android Lust says, uh, I made a mistake adding my number back and then deciding to delete the account. Oh, okay. It takes two weeks to delete it. Well, just as well. I mean, Twitch, if you want an account username from on Twitch, it can take like 12 months for the username to become available, even once you've deleted your account. So uh, Discord are not unusual. Two weeks is pretty fast in, in the IT world. <laughs> Android Lust says, yeah, the accounts, the, uh, she says two weeks to, <laughs> Sniper Girl <laughs> says two weeks to delete. Um, Android Lust says, yeah, the renders will be gone, but I can add them back. Yes, please do. Please add them back because I love your work. And like I said, the stuff you guys post in the gallery uh, inspires a lot of people to, to, pick, to pick up 3D and or take up 3D and do something themselves. So please post your images back. Because you do lovely work. Android Lust says, got the account back probably four days ago. I don't remember. Okay. Well, I'm happy to hear you got it back. I'm sad to hear you can't use it because it's been completely hosed. Um, yeah. So I might, with this fence line, I might just angle it a bit. I'm going to turn angle snap off here so i got a bit more control. In fact, we may even leave the tree there. We'll use the tree as like a something that the fence is, le is leaning against so it's stopping it from completely falling over. And to make it a bit different, we're going to move this down here. Uh, and Snappy Girl says to Android Lust, please keep us updated. Yes, do. Please do. And let's move this one along so it's a little bit different as well. In fact, let's rotate this 180 degrees so it's completely different. We've got one fence leaning over. Just rotate this a little bit. Well, let's turn angle snap off. So it's a little bit straighter looking. Mm. 
This looks a bit more natural. We might also just duplicate the bars so we've got a few more bars along this longer section of wall. We've got no bars on that wall, that's fine. Just rotate this one around a little bit more, I think. And pull it in. It has to sort of line up with that wall there, so I still think it's a little bit too far out. all might be a bit too far. Fence line, fence line, fence line, fence line. And yeah, that should be fine. Fence line. Fence falling over. Okay, and again, for anyone that came to the stream late, the only change I've made since yesterday's stream is I added this statue. Because I just felt that when we were looking, when, when I was viewing the scene from this angle, um, this corner looked a bit empty, so I wanted to try and balance it up a bit more. And I th still think it needs more balancing, so I want to put something over here. Snappy Girl says, thanks Andrew. Lust says, I do know that people who took the account were Turkish then wanted Bitcoin. Not sure how they can get Bitcoin from a Discord account. I don't even have Bitcoin. <laughs> I don't know how they could do it, how they could get uh, Bitcoin from a Discord either. Android Lust says, I was slowly reading the servers they put me in, I had to Google translate it. Uh, I thought about mass reporting it, but I don't think much would have come upon it. So I just requested to delete the account. Yeah, look, it's probably a better and easier just to delete the account. I think, I think that's probably a wise move. Set it up and start afresh. It's, it's a bit of a shame because, you know, I don't know how many servers on Discord you're involved with Android Lust, but having to lose all your posts and stuff. So let us know um, when you set your new account up and what you're called. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Because me or one of the mods, myself or one of the mods, let's speak proper English here. Uh, we can, once you've set the account up, we can um, activate it immediately as opposed to having you having to wait because yeah, new new accounts on the, the Phil Does 3D Discord server, you can't post immediately because there's a cooldown period. That's to stop spam bots and stuff. Android Lust says, I can get the servers back, but the friends might be a bit hard. Oh, that's true. I keep forgetting about the whole friends list thing as well. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a real bummer. Well, they're not true friends if they're not going to add your new username to their friends list. But that is a bummer. I, I completely forgot about that. Uh, Sniper Girl says, yeah, that's understandable. Did the person message them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, did, did they message anything horrible to any of your friends list? Mm. So Turkish, hey? Well, thank you, Turkey. 
Although we, we can't single Turkey out because uh, hacking happens from all around the planet. Every country just about does it. So yeah, I think we, we need something over in this corner here to balance up the scene a little bit from, from this angle, which is the angle that the player will see because that's where they enter. So. Uh, and I think what we might do is we might add some plants here. So let us jump into the foliage tool. Android Dust says they just tried to take their account take their accounts the same way they got mine. It would have probably worked if I didn't warn many of them. Yeah, and this was a a, a man in the middle attack, wasn't it? I think you and Euro were, were saying last week or the week before. Yep, man. Don't these people have better things to do with their time? It does suck, as Sniper Girl says. Yeah, don't, don't these people have better things to do with their time? I mean, come on, put all that energy and that hacking knowledge to good use. Don't use it for evil, use it for good. So I'm just going through my plants here. That's interesting, I didn't, maybe I didn't bring them in. I want to put, um, conifer trees I think and I thought the engine automatically brought them in for me because I use them in the uh, other landscape around the the manor house garden because it did bring in some of them like the azalea bushes and stuff but it doesn't look like it brought in the conifer trees Which is surprising. It brought the ferns in. Brought the oaks in. But not the conifers. Interesting. Hmm. We do have these, um, these are conifers as well, but I think I want to bring in the others because they're more ornamental. These are more foresty. Uh, Android Lust says, I guess times are tough. They need the Bitcoin money. <laughs> well, the Bitcoin money is only worth half what it was at the beginning of the year now. So, yeah. Uh, Sniper so Girls, this is what I mean. Bitcoin, it's a scam and anything, it's a, it's, it's just, it's such, a, it's a criminal enterprise. The whole thing is just a criminal thing. I'm sorry if you're into your Bitcoin mining, but it's criminal. It's a, it's a scam and yeah. It's used by organized crime. It's, it's awful. It shouldn't exist. I'm sorry, in my opinion, Bitcoin should not exist. Uh, Sniper Girl says, hacking knowledge, majority of them are script kiddies that think that they're hackers because they use a free plugin that you can just download. <laughs> You're probably right. It's only getting worse actually with everything going on in the world, which we're not going to talk about. Yeah, hacking is just ripe at the moment. So yeah, I think you're correct, Sniper Girl. Now, where did I put my conifer trees? Where did I put them? Where did I put them? Maybe, 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 maybe. In terrain? No. Uh, they are here somewhere. Not indoor plants. Not hero trees. Foliage, maybe. Yes, they're going to be here. So, uh, we've got a spruce. I think it might have been the spruce that I was using in the uh, manor house. Yeah, I think it was a spruce. Uh, again, these are speed tree trees. So. Andrew Doss says a friend said Samsung. Yeah, I heard about Samsung was hacked. I, I didn't look into it though, but they're into tech more than I am. Yeah, apparently Samsung did get hacked. They stole data like they did when NVIDIA was hacked. So 
Way to go, Samsung, for protecting your IP. Um, I don't know. That we're, Samsung said that no personal user data has been compromised, which is great. But I think they stole the source code for the uh, for the operating system of the Samsung phones, and I've got a Samsung phone. Um, <laughs> Well, so what that means is that uh, they could use that then to find vulnerabilities on Samsung phones, so hackers could. So while it's good that no personal information has been hacked, uh, it's bad in that now the hackers have a way to look through the operating system and find any weaknesses. So that's great for us all, all, all Samsung phone people. Because it's all, it's all, they're all, all the operating systems of Samsung phones are built on that one UI or whatever Samsung call it, which is, you know, it's, it's Google. It's Linux underneath of it, but it's Samsung's like wrapper for Linux. So, yeah, great news. Uh, yep, as Sniper Girl says, they certainly were hacked. Uh, I actually, I'm curious that NVIDIA haven't released a new driver yet. Uh, generally, they would have released one by now, particularly with um, with those new games that have recently come out that are quite popular. Is it Apex? Legends, maybe, or something. I, I, not my type of game because it's an online thing, but the Dark Souls, the MMORPG Dark Souls clone that's really popular at the moment. Generally, for that sort of game release, NVIDIA would release a new driver, and they haven't for, a, for, for nearly four weeks now. So people are sort of <laughs> are saying, hmm, because NVIDIA were hacked, obviously, of course, a couple of weeks ago. E Elden Ring, thank you, Sniper Girl. <laughs> Uh, and, sorry, Android Last, thank you. Yeah, Elden Ring. Uh, normally, NVIDIA would have released a new driver for like Elden Ring, but they haven't, so. Sniper Girl says, just realized you can't give the sub to Nightbot. No, don't give Nightbot a sub. <laughs> what will it do? Will it break the bot? I kind of want to find out. Don't, don't do that. Don't give Nightbot a sub. Why? Don't, don't waste your money. Don't do that. Uh, so yeah, I think it's the spruce conifer is the one that I want. So let's add that. And we're going to put it in. Forest combined foliage. And where did it put it? That's the next question. You know, I'll probably add it and then decide that I don't want to use it, so. And that's it there, Spruce Conifer. I just want to check, uh, I want to change the, the cull distance here. We'll go for a max of, um, we'll try 20,000. Um, Min and max, we'll go min of one, max of two. And we'll do a single and see what it does. And it's not, oh, I've got to turn it on. There we go, that would help. <laughs> it's got to wait for the shader to compile. Uh, Euro says they're built on Android, which is built on Linux. The software is open source. What hurts them more are the IP hardware chipboard designs, because then black hats can find weaknesses. I'm just waiting for the shaders to finish recompiling. Yeah, well, e either way, hacking hacking anything is never good, so. So again, what I'm going to do here is I'm, I'm moving to this part of the of the um, of the entryway, so I can sort of design, work out how I want to design this here. So I think I want another tree here, which is a bit taller. And because we, you know, trees always like to be in threes, we're going to put one more somewhere. <laughs> um, so we're, I'm going to put one here, and I'm going to put one here. And this one I'm going to make bigger. Uh, 
I'm just making sure they're actually sitting in the ground. And we might just move one of them back a little bit. And this one out a little bit. Smurf says, put in 200 more trees. <laughs> hey, Kamal, it's good to see you. Kamal says, oh, welcome Phil's late night show. It's good to see you, Kamal. I hope you're doing well. So now I, I want to point out here that what you're seeing, if you look up here, you see my lighting needs to be rebuilt. That's because since we've added this other landscape, we have not done a rebuild. So uh, there's basically no ambient occlusion happening anywhere. Um, so colors and the look of the of the forest will change once we rebuild the lighting. But we're not going to be doing that until I finish setting. Uh, the guys won't do that until I finish setting up uh, the rest of the small areas because there's no point. It'll need to be rebuilt again. Uh, so yeah, I just want to point that out. So if, for instance, you, you notice these trees look a bit bright, that's because the lighting hasn't been built. built so there's no ambient occlusion or anything going on. More trees, Smurper. You can never have too many trees. Uh, I may have to thin the forest out. We'll see how we go later on. Once I do a rebuild on the lighting and we can do some testing. Kamal says, thank you. I do appreciate it. Uh, and he says he's fine, which is good to hear. So, uh, so some trees in that corner. Just wondering if I should maybe swap. Again, let me frame this up so I can look at it. Yeah, I probably should put the bigger tree toward the middle and not toward the edge. So we get that V thing happening that I, I tell you guys all the time about. Balance up the image. So what I need to do is I need to, I think, I'm going to move this one over here and we're going to move this one over here. I could have just scaled them really instead of moving them. Same difference. And this one we're going to make a little bit bigger still. And back to our spot. In fact, I've, I've got a bookmark but that's probably easier for me than moving the camera around all the time. <sighs> Let's jump to our bookmark. Okay. Um, do I want to move them in? Probably not. Let's leave that for the moment and move around the building a little bit more. Um, let's put a few more of these spruce trees in through here. These sort of trees I like to do in the single and not in paint mode because I don't want too many to be populated at once. I just want to sort of have a bit more control. Okay, and let's put a couple. There's some there, some there. Maybe a couple in here. That one's a bit too close. Ready, and let's put a couple. We won't get too nuts with these, but let's put some. Maybe in this corner here. One there. One there. Maybe one there. 
and maybe one here for good measure. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'm going to move these others forward. I want the taller one to be toward the back. And let's just fix the angle on this one. I might just fix the angle on this one a little bit. Now uh, there's a setting in here where it's something about following the normal of the object which is ticked by default, which means that if I place a tree on a slope, it's going to stick out at an angle, but you can turn that off. Let's just move this one over a little bit. And we might make this one a little bit bigger. That's a nice grouping. Make sure it's in the ground. I think this one might be a bit too far in the ground. There we go. Anonymous gifted the sub to Kamal's workshop, so thank you Anonymous. I mean that might be Sniper Girl, maybe. If it was you Sniper Girl, thank you. If it was Anonymous, whoever you are, thank you as well. For gifting the sub to Kamal. Anonymous gifter Andrew Luss says, <laughs> and Sniper Girl says yep. Uh, Kamal says it means someone who loves me more than others, that's right. Android Lust says, we know it's Sniper Girl. Euro says, Anonymous Gifter. <laughs> we know who it is. Guilty, yes, we knew it was you, Sniper Girl. She wants those points. She wants me to play that pony game. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Thank you, Sniper Girl, for gifting another sub because she gifted one yesterday to Smokeberry, so... She's making it rain with those subs. So yes, thank you Sniper Girl uh, for gifting another sub and to Kamal. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we need really any more of these conifers, really. Maybe. Uh, hmm. I might just put a little grouping in just in this section here. Just to sort of balance things up a little bit because we've got some there and now we've got some in there. Yeah, I'm just making sure they're in the ground. Alrighty, let's have a look at the entryway. It's, it's a little bit difficult for me to tell without the rest of the uh, the ground covering. So there are a couple of ways for me to get it to regenerate. Snappy Girl says, actually doing it anonymous, you don't get, oh really, like showing support. Oh really? So if you, if you donate anonymously, you don't get the extra 500 point bonus. Well, that sucks. 
Another girl says, even if it doesn't get me closer to you playing that horrid game. <laughs> Well, that's a shame, but thank you for donating anyway, the, the, the sub to Kamal. Dodged a bullet there, got a little bit more time before I have to play that awful game. Kamal says, hail to Grandmaster, my sensei, Euro. Sniper Girl says, yeah, was surprised it doesn't, oh well. Um, so yeah, I want to uh, start adding a few more bits and pieces here, but I'd like for the, for the ground cover to regenerate now. I'm trying to remember that there are a couple of ways to get it to do it. And again, this is a beta feature in the Unreal Engine, so I'm not really upset that it's happening. Um, I'm just going to go out of foliage mode. I'm going to do a quick save because, you know, you never know. Uh, I also like to, I do a save all and I also like to save current, which is a level we're working on at the moment. So one of the ways is to actually minimize the editor, funnily enough, and bring it back up. That didn't work. Okay. Another way is to jump to a bookmark. So let's go to bookmark three, which is the, where we're going to be placing the, um, the new bow entry and then go back to bookmark six. And there we go. Uh, and the reason I want to do this is because I, I need to sort of see what the scene is going to look like properly when I start adding more foliage, because there's a lot of ground cover going on here. So I think maybe we'll add some grass, like oh, dead grass, tall grass, you know, overgrown grass. So let's go back into foliage mode. Now I've got a couple of grasses here. I have one that I created for the manor house and there is another one that's been created for this landscape. Um, so I think I'm going to go with, um, <clears throat> pardon me. Uh, rough grass. These are the ones that I created for the um, for the manor house. Thick grass. Okay. okay. They're not the ones that I want. But we do have another grass. Oh, actually, a few different grass types here. Um, so we might go with those because we've, I've used them in other parts of this landscape. So I'm just going to turn them all on and so the, the engine will just vary between them when I paint. And let's go into paint mode. <clears throat> now, let's try adding some grass over here. Sniper Girl says, uh, you're lucky, you're a lucky one. I won't have enough points by the end of the stream, so you're safe next stream. <laughs> one after that though. Um, something for me to look forward to, hey? I do want to say though that I'm not streaming next week, guys. I've got meetings scheduled all week. Uh, so I'm probably going to have one more week's break, uh, grace I should say, until I have to play that awful game. But I'm back the week after, so just no streams next week and then I'll be back. I just have to go into the uh, game studio and the arch biz studio for meetings. Well, Kamal says, may I request to change timing of stream according to European time zone? <laughs> Well, I actually stream for, for, for the Americans, so uh, yeah, I know it's really, it's, it's a bit difficult for you guys that don't live in the US to catch the streams, particularly if you're in like Europe, because uh, it's really early in the morning in Europe, so. Snappy Girl says, I'm okay with that. Android Lust says, he's game dodging. I'm not game dodging. I do have meetings. They all sort of, I don't know about you guys, have, but I, I, I find with my meetings, they all seem to fall on the same week. So I've got meetings at both studios. Now that we're officially out of lockdown in Melbourne where I live, we can all get together in meetings again, unfortunately. 
I hate meetings. I find meetings to be huge time sinks and sometimes a waste of time. Because by the time everybody gets their say, hours have gone past, nothing's been really done, you know. Uh, they're important, I know they're important. But uh, I don't like them. I never have. I've never been big on having meetings. Um, <laughs> I do them because I have to do them, but it doesn't mean I like doing them. Uh, we might run grass inside here as well. In like in these corners. And I guess we should probably run some along the fence line because why not? What you, I don't know if you guys notice this, but you, this, so you see there's a lot of ground cover here, like these little plants. But as we get to the slope, there's less. That's because it's um, being fed by what they call a splat map. So basically, uh, the splat map determines where the smaller foliage and things populate. And it's set up to not populate on a slope. So that's the reason for that. Might put a little grouping around here. Maybe a grouping through here. Maybe some through here. Okay, what else we got to play with? Gonna turn these off. Our snappy girl says it will be one week you're safe. Okay, we'll make you dread it more. <laughs> you like I said, after today's stream, you might be just about close enough to to redeem. So that will mean when I come back, not next week, the week after. Um, but give me a little bit of notice because I do want to post to my Twitter that I'm going to be playing a game. Mm and post an image of that horrid pony, pony game, graphic. Andrew Lust says, how, uh, about how long would it take to rebuild the lighting? Um, well, uh, uh, it depends on whether you mean just this landscape or the entire game. If you're talking the entire game, it takes about, and, you, and we're, we're talking uh, CPU light mass building here, not GPU light mass, which is available now in the Unreal Engine. But it's really, it has certain restrictions, so we don't tend to use it. Um, if it's the entire game, rebuild on the lighting using how many cores? Let's see, 20, 32. Using about 40 CPU cores, it takes about four hours using CPU to do the entire game. Um, yeah, just this, this, just this landscape, I couldn't tell you because we haven't, since we created it, we haven't done a rebuild on the lighting, so I don't know yet. Uh, but I don't tend to do that though. I, I tend, if, when we tend to do a rebuild on the lighting, we tend to rebuild the entire game. So not just this one uh, landscape, we'll rebuild everything. 
could uh, it, it's it's more important for things like the, uh, the manor house because the manor house is broken up into different sections. There's a kitchen, uh, the upper section, the attic, all of that sort of thing, and they the light interacts with the, with each other in in those rooms. So if you just rebuild one of them, which you can do, chances are it's not going to look correct when all the others are turned on because the lighting needs to interact with each, with, with different sections. So yeah, we, we tend to rebuild everything at the same time. And uh, the engine will warn you. If you just try and rebuild one thing, it'll say, are you sure you want to do this? Because all of these won't be rebuilt. And it, it gives you that warning because of the interaction with the lighting and stuff between the different levels that you've broken up. So yeah, and uh, you, this, this landscape we haven't rebuilt yet since we've created it, so I don't know how long it'll take. But we'll find out soonish, once I finish placing a few more bits and pieces, then um, we, we can we do a rebuild. I don't do that on stream because <laughs> my, my streams don't last long enough to, to, to do it, and it'd be very boring. Sniper Girl says it'll be about 500 points off by the end of the stream, so we'll technically be able to redeem it midstream, but that's no fun. Yeah, don't don't do a midstream redeem. Like once you've got enough points and you're gonna and you want to redeem it, tell me in the chat and we'll schedule it for the next day's stream. That way I can post to my Twitter and, and all that sort of jazz before the stream goes live. Kamal says, I see the wind shakes the trees. Yes, it does. There is all, it's fully animated. All, all of the trees are wind animated. So, all the foliage in the game is animated. Um, yeah. Andrew Dust says, I figured it would take up to a good amount of stream time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, uh, it, it look, it would. Again, I don't know just for this landscape level how long the, the build would take. But the entire game takes about four hours, and that's not just using my one machine here. It's, it's using about 40 different CPU cores. Um, Unreal does have what they call GPU light mass baking now, which where it uses the graphics card, and it's much, much faster. Like, instead of taking hours, it takes minutes. Um, but it's really restrictive. It's like not not everything that you use in the game engine, it, GPU light mass baking can actually work on. Some things it just won't work with. Uh, so we aren't using GPU light mass building because we we use things in the game that are incompatible with light mass, GPU light mass. Um, Epic is slowly improving GPU light mass, so eventually I guess it'll be. Well, actually, I don't even know what they're going to do with that, because with Unreal Engine Five, they're moving to to um, to Lumen, and that's a real time thing. So, technically speaking, you shouldn't need to do rebuilds on lighting anymore with UE Five. It should all be real time live anyway, because you guys know if you add a light in Unreal Engine Four, and it's a movable light. That doesn't require a lighting rebuild, or it doesn't require a rebuild for the level, because it's movable, it's live, it's real time. So, and yeah, with Lumen being a real time lighting solution in Unreal Engine 5, my guess is that light building will be a thing of the past, because everything's going to be real time anyway. Uh, global illumination from NVIDIA, the same sort of deal. It's all real time. I think you can bake it in, it's, it's yeah. I'm not sure. I haven't looked into Unreal Engine 5 enough yet. But. Sniper Girl says, uh, don't worry, we'll give you plenty of notice of your suffering. All the more fun. <laughs> she says, uh, that's not how UE5 works. It has both Lumen and traditional. Yeah, I know it does. I'm, I'm assuming it has the same lighting as built into UE4. Like you've got static lights, mm, uh, movable lights, and uh, whatever the other one is. Stationary, I think they call it. Yeah, I, I, I know that, but I uh, I know from NVIDIA's Global Illumination, which is real-time ray trace global, global illumination, that's meant not to, that's meant to mean that you don't have to do light builds anymore, unless you're using static lighting or stationary lighting. If it's movable lighting, it, doing a rebuild on the lighting is pointless because it's real-time anyway. It doesn't, doesn't affect movable lights. 
So, um, the, and for instance, the indirect light you see here, the sun, is, is a movable light. The skylight that we're using is a stationary skylight, though, not a movable one, which means it needs lighting rebuilt to actually calculate the uh, the ambient occlusion in, in, in the game. And it's a performance thing. Like, movable lights are much more expensive as far as uh, performance goes than a stationary static light. So, Well, that's true. She said not everyone has ray tracing. Well, that, that is very true. That is true. Um, but you don't need ray tracing for... Uh, well, you, you need it for Lumen, I'm assuming. Uh, again, I haven't looked into UE5. I haven't installed it. Preview 2 actually was released today. Unreal Engine 5 Preview 2 uh, came out today. So that means the official release is going to be coming out any time now. Um, generally, Epic do one or two preview releases, like I mentioned to you guys a few weeks ago, and then they release the actual version, the production version. Sometimes they've gone to preview 3, so that could still happen with UE5, but uh, unless they get, find a show-stopping bug, I would assume that they're going to release the official version within the next few weeks. Which will be cool, then I'll install it and I'll start playing with it. But you are right, not everyone does have ray tracing, so that's true. Stubby Girl says, yep, Smurf says, the day I never have to bake another light map can't come soon enough. Yeah, look, I, I have to admit, I, it's not fun to have your machine bogged down doing a building of, of lights and light mass in Unreal. Yeah. It's just a shame that GPU light mass is still not on a par with uh, CPU. It can't do all, it can't bake out everything that you can do with the CPU light mass. Yeah. But yeah, I'm not sure how, what Epic are going to do, there, whether they're actually going to continue development on that or let it fall by the wayside and assume everyone is going to be using ray tracing and uses Lumen. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but NVIDIA have their own solution to global illumination, which is separate to Lumen. So if you download the... Well, NVIDIA don't have a UE5 build that I'm aware of that you can download and compile. But I do know that, um, yeah, NVIDIA's DIGI, I think they're calling it, Direct Global Illumination or something. Again, I'm not, I've not used it, so I'm not sure of the name. But it's like a competitor to Lumen. So Lumen is Epic's version of screen space global illumination, really. Uh, but NVIDIA have real-time ray trace global illumination. You probably find a lot of games are not going to use, at least initially, NVIDIA's version because Number one, as Sniper Girl points out, not everyone has a ray trace capable graphics card. And number two, even if you do, it will need to be NVIDIA to work with uh, NVIDIA's global illumination. And, and games company, game studios don't want to cut out half of their market, half of their sales from people who have AMD graphics cards um, just because they're using uh, NVIDIA's global illumination. So. Having said that, though, we are using a DLSS, which is NVIDIA's um, dynamic super sampling technology, and it is very good. But you can you don't have to have that to play the game. So, yeah, I guess you don't need global illumination to play the game either. NVIDIA would probably argue, but it makes it difficult from a design point of view if you're designing with global illumination in mind. Uh, and then you sell the game and people with AMD cards can't use Global Illumination because it's an NVIDIA proprietary technology uh, or implementation, I should say, not technology. Um, so the game's not going to look the same on AMD cards. Yeah, that makes it like, way too hard for a developer. It really does. Uh, Snappy Girl agrees with Smurf on a pox on light maps. Uh, she says, when I get a new video card, I will not bake lights again. <laughs> Android Lust says, the GPU is any cheaper yet? Well, they are getting cheaper, at least in Australia, I've found. I've found that, they, yeah, they are getting cheaper. Let's move back to the front here. I think it's probably enough grass. Um, let's go back to our bookmark. Okay, so I'm actually, I actually want to reduce these. I don't, I want them to be lower than the statue. So I'm going to 
just reduce the scale of them a bit. Oh no, don't do that. Don't do a non-uniform. There we go. Again, I'm just sort of like um, laying it out so it's 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 balanced, and I, I want these trees not to be as tall. I want the statue to, to be your eye to be drawn to the statue and not to the trees really. The trees are there just to fill in this corner to balance it up a bit from here because we've got a lot going on here and we didn't have a lot going on here. Uh, Smurf says yes there are only two times the MSRP instead of three times. <laughs> Nothing else says not much. I think in, in Australia they've dropped quite a bit but we pay more for them than you guys in the US anyway so maybe that's why they're dropping faster here because they're not as expensive uh, in, in the US as they are here to begin with. Smurf says and aside from the baking time light maps are also super finicky to set up. They are. I mean again with no more light maps you don't have to worry about light maps on your 3D models and they can be a major pain. Like you'll go to the trouble of setting a scene up, you'll do a light build and you'll go back and look at your asset and it'll look terrible. It'll have splotchy shadowing or something and that's generally a problem with the light map UV. So it, it, it does away with all of that which will be a godsend. So you are correct Smurf, it is a nightmare all around. Uh, Snappy Girl says, Don't read lust. I've been lazy. When I file my taxes, I can get it. I just haven't filed it yet. But that reminds me, actually, I got to download my tax info from Twitch. They sent me an email. Mm. But we don't lodge our taxes till mid year here. I'm not sure how it works in the US. I thought every country was the same. But in Australia, uh, the end of the financial year is June, June 30th or 31st or whatever it is. So we generally, after June 30, like the 1st of July, is when we can start lodging our taxes in Australia for the previous year. Sniper Girl says yes and no. There's a huge market for AMD due to game consoles, and mostly uh, are mostly AMD these days. So they will have to make a workaround. But yeah, well, I, I think they are trying. In, in Nvidia's, um, to be fair to Nvidia, their direct global illumination solution. Um, they're, try, they're, they're, they're they're talking about it at the moment. I don't think they've implemented it yet. But the, the, what they're going to do is they're going to you can bake the global illumination into the map. I think that's what they're going to do for people that don't have ray tracing cards or people on other hardware like AMD. So it's still, it's an interesting actually. If it's baked in, it's not real time, is it? But it's a real time global illumination. So it's, it's, it's a bit weird. I'm not sure how they're going to do it. They haven't really gone into detail about it. But yeah, presumably they're going to do something about baking the global illumination or saving it to file. That's what they say. It's not baking it. They're going to save the global illumination information to a file on the hard drive or on the SSD, which will be read back during gameplay. So it's 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 real time global illumination from a stored file. So it's an interesting way to do it. Uh, Kamal says an AMD user is here. There's a lot of AMD users. Um, Snappy Girl says I don't know what I'll get. Android Lust says nothing wrong with that. No, there's nothing wrong with being an AMD having an AMD graphics card. Kamal says whatever you buy, you must get additional cooling system for it. Uh, Sniper Girl says you're going to liquid cool. You're going to liquid cool your graphics card. Sweet. I liquid cool my CPU, but I don't do that to the graphics card. Um, so yeah, let me see. What am I, what am I doing? That's right. Uh, so. Uh, Again, let's just move back a little. I think I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking here now is looking a little empty, and I don't want to put any more trees in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in some uh, dead wood if I can find it. Okay, should be up here. Needles, no. This one, this one. Let's go with this one. I'm going to put a single in. And just get up here. And let's also put in, because why go with one dead piece of dead tree trunk when you can add many more? It's half the fun. 
Uh, let's put in one, maybe one of the fallen trees, maybe. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, why not? And why stop there? Let's also put in a dead stump. There we go. Just to help to fill up that little area a little bit more. Um, and while we're here, why don't we add some ferns? College um, type A, college type B. I don't think I've actually added any ferns to the forest yet. No, I'm pretty sure I haven't. Uh, and I do have ferns that I created for the other landscape as well. Under three, four to fifty. Let's just have a look at these. I can always remove them if I don't like them. Uh, so let's go to paint. Put a few in here. Oh, they're not too bad. Okay, and I guess we could put some ferns over in these corners as well, maybe. And because we've got some over there, I guess we need some over here. Uh, Kamal says, much better than mine. What are we talking about? Liquid cooling graphic. Yeah, well, my graphics card is not liquid cooled. I have an Asus graphic card, but it's, uh, it has three fans, and it's, it's a pretty good cooling solution, but it's not lo not liquid cooled. My CPU is, though. Uh, let's put some ferns inside here as well. So maybe around here. And then some over here. Uh, these are actual garden beds here and here, so let's put something in there. Um, what are we going to put in there? Maybe something dead. Because, you know, why not? Maybe a dead tree. A couple of dead trees. I uh, actually don't think I have the dead tree, so I might have to bring them in. Yeah, we used the, we have we've actually got three here. Um, probably use either one of those unless there's something better. Let me have a look. Android Dot says I'm not fully convinced liquid cooling is significantly better than air cooled, at least for CPUs. Look, I wouldn't disagree. Uh, the the reason I went liquid cooling on my uh, i9-10900K is because they th uh, the quicker it heats up the more it throttles and these things tend to heat up quite a lot uh, and so but uh, generally I would agree though I, 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 I question how much better liquid cooling is than uh, air cooling but it is good in that it's very quiet because you don't have a big fan going on top of the CPU so I like that if nothing else I like that and now that I've replaced all my hard drives with SSDs in my main machine, it's incredibly quiet. The only time I ever hear it is if um, I'm, I'm doing something that's using the CPU and that revs up my case fans. But aside from that, it's very quiet. Yeah, no, I didn't bring them in, so I guess we could... bring in a 
couple of the white birches. Wondering whether they'd look good there or not. Or if there's anything else that might be better. I don't know. Uh, Hmm. I want to keep these landscapes looking unique to each section of the game. So this is the start landscape, the one, the first landscape you play. And then you get to the second landscape, which is with the manor house. Oh, so I want to keep them visually unique looking. It's just more interesting from a, a gameplay point of view. Uh, that doesn't mean I can't use some of the same plants. I just have to be careful though. I don't want to. I don't want to make them too samey. Uh, we have these elderberry bushes as well, which might be better. These are the ones we used along the walkway, so they've got like an arch to them. Actually, that could be quite cool. Let's bring um. Let's bring them in and see what it looks like. So we've got two versions, variations. So that's this one to begin with. And we'll put it there. And then this one, which is the second type. Which we'll put there. Okay. Now where did it put them? Uh, Kamal says, how many degrees you see in common? Oh, how many degrees on the graphics card or on the CPU, come on. Sniper Girl says, what I personally look forward to about getting a new GPU is I can start working in Unreal on the gas station. Really, really am willing to do ray tracing for reflections and also lighting. Uh, don't want to have to redo a ton of work, so I want to be able to do ray tracing when bringing stuff in so I can fine tune as I go. Yeah, look, doing it in real time ray trace is uh, certainly a time saver for sure. But plus it looks pretty. Like it looks like very pretty using ray tracing. Okay, they're the two that we just brought in. Let's um, grab one of them. It's going to do a single. Again, I got to wait for the shader to recompile. So yeah, and it's going to look cool. Uh, there, we we do actually use ray. Like what you see here at the moment is not ray traced. Um, ray tracing is not turned on automatically in. I don't think it is unless it's changed in two four point two seven. Maybe it did change. I don't know. Generally, though, ray tracing doesn't turn on until uh, we play the level, and then it it sets C bars. But I could be wrong. It may use. The new version of the engine might turn it on automatically, I'm not sure. Uh, but we do, it may actually do that actually, because uh, we're using, um, actually there's something else I've got to paint in. Um, we use painted in puddles, and the puddles are actually ray trace reflected, um, which you, you really notice near the bridge, because I actually haven't, I haven't done the puddle layers yet. Uh, I only added one to see uh, as a test near the bridge, and yeah, it reflects like the uh, the fence line, so which is pretty cool. Uh, have a look at this. Let's rotate it around. I, I, yeah, that's what I was. That's what I liked about this. I created these for the pathway, um, so they sort of like branch. They, they sort of arch over the path in the main manor house. And I thought they might look cool here, um, arching over the entryway. I think they might be a little bit big. So they weren't designed to go here, and they may not work. So I'm just going to move it forward and over.
Gonna deselect it so we can see it a bit better. This is what I was afraid of. I don't want it to intersect the wall. So we either have to scale it up. Or we have to not use it. Or, or maybe move it forward, but let's try all three. Let's move it forward. Okay, it's clearing the wall, which is good. Deselect it. Um, what are we talking about here? Android Loss says, good question, Kamal. Probably around 40. I don't entirely monitor the temps. So I've, I've linked my fan cooler to temps and it's generally nowhere near what I would consider hot. Uh, yeah, again, I use liquid cooling on my CPU and it generally hovers around about between 35 and 40, depending on what's going on in the background. Usually around about 35 degrees. That's Celsius, by the way. Uh, my CPU hovers around, unless it's under load, and then it can go right up to like 75 degrees. Uh, yeah, so basically, when I don't know if you guys do any compiling in Visual Studio, but that that program is a whole. Uh, when I when I when I when I when I'm doing a compile on uh, say the Unreal Engine in Visual Studio, it generally pushes the CPU up to like 79 degrees, even with liquid cooling. Okay, so we have two variations of this tree, so let's see if we can get one going on the other side as well. Sniper Girl says it looks pretty, it's way faster with Lumen, you can have it so uh, your emissive maps give light, yeah I know about that. I can do that tra traditional method in Unreal but it's not real time so you can't do blinking lights. Yeah I've actually watched a couple of videos uh, from Epic Games when they've been demoing uh, UE5 uh, a, you know, last year. And uh, I noticed in the attic that, that one of the um, videos was the guy working in the attic and he used emissive lights there. So that's very cool that you can use an emissive material to actually give light in UE5. Again, you can do that in UE4 too, like you said, but uh, yeah, this blinking thing. And an emissive uh, material light is going to be the cheapest type of lighting you can ever get as far as uh, performance goes. So that's a good thing. It's a good thing. Uh, let's add the other one over here. Again, I've got to wait for the shader to compile. So I am looking forward to playing with Unreal 5 because it does look very cool. The engine itself, and I love the uh, the interface, the new interface for Unreal 5. It looks very clean, very nice. So whoever did the interface work uh, at Epic did a good job. Sniper Girl says, with Lumen you want blinking lights via emissives and have a generate light. So that's not an issue. With Lumen you want blinking lights via emissive and have a generate, yeah. Android Lust says, when I had air cooled, if I didn't go above 80 degrees, I didn't care. Uh, it never went above 80. Uh, Kamal says, same here, mate. I have a Quadro with a stock fan and it's, about, it's between 70 to 80 degrees Celsius, not more. Well, remember, most things start to, like CPUs will throttle at 100 degrees, I think it is. Well, it's the, it, yeah, that, that's the safety temperature, I think. It, it, it will either shut down or it will really throttle at like 100 degrees. But once you start reaching like 80 degrees, the CPU will start to throttle down. So it won't be running as fast. And so that, I think it's the whole point of liquid cooling on the CPU is so you can keep it as cool as possible, so you can run it as fast as possible for as long as possible before the thermal limits kick in and, and start to knock the CPU speed back. I think that's the point of liquid cooling.
I was just seeing if uh, if they're having the um, the uh, roots hanging over the edge look cool or not, but maybe not. Um, let's rotate this around so it's in the right direction. So it's probably like that, not like that, so it's not intersecting the wall. And I might scale it up a little bit. Again, I'm just going to make sure the roots don't poke through the um, through the brickwork. sure that the branches don't poke through the wall. Okay. Let's deselect. That's suitably creepy, having all these dead branches over the top of the player as they walk through. Okay, need something else in here though, because it looks a bit empty. So. What else can we put in there? Um, let's put some dead leaves, I think. Uh, we've got needles we can put in there. Yeah, maybe some needles. Let's see what they look like. Like pine needles, dead pine needles. That's what I meant when I say needles. Okay, what else have we got here? Needles too. I pulled some just on the outside of the brickwork there. Make it look a bit more interesting. Like here on the bricks. Uh, what else though? Maybe we could go with some azalea bushes. Again, I, I use the azalea bushes in the other landscape. I'm not really sure that I want to put them here, but we could. talking about. Android Lost says I'd be fine with that. When I had a GTX 660 that thing ran hot compared to uh, any other PC part I've had. But it was the Nvidia edition. No GPU or CPU I've had after that ran fine. <laughs> no GPU or CPU had after that ran fine. Snuffy Girl says uh, can you imagine the lights are all up in up to code? Want to have one of the lights in the front dangling with it blinking. And maybe some sparks. It should look cool. It would look cool. So you're going to use a uh, Niagara particle system for your sparks, I'm assuming, which will look very cool. Because remember, the Unreal Engine 5 no longer uses Cascade. Cascade is depreciated, which is the old particle system. You must use Niagara particles if you want to use Unreal Engine 5 now. Just putting that out there. Uh, we have a pink and a white version. Um, let's just see what, what one of these looks like. I, I don't really think I want to use an azalea, but I can add it and I can decide. <laughs> Not that I don't like the azalea bushes. I mean, they are cool. Um, it's just that we use them in the other landscape quite a bit. But they do fill up this little pot here quite well.
I'm just a little worried they might be a little bit too ornamental for uh, for this part of the landscape. Uh, Andrew Doss says, I mean, every GPU or CPU ran for, oh, okay, that's what you meant. Okay. <laughs> Kamal says, it burns fine too. Uh, Andrew Doss says, mushrooms. I, mean, mushroom. I don't actually, I don't have any mushrooms uh, in the engine. I haven't brought, I haven't created any or brought any in. Mushies would look good though. Having mushies here and there, for sure. I'll have to give that some thought. Andrew Doss says, when he said needles, I was thinking a different kind of needle. Well, we're all used to the other kind of, the real kinds of needles, aren't we, with um, vaccination. I've had three shots. <sighs> um, <laughs> drug eats not because... <laughs> well, see, my mind didn't go to drugs. My mind immediately went to vaccination. My Azalea Smurfberry says... <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm just worried that um, the Azalea bushes might be a little bit too... ornamental... for this. Uh, Snappy Girl says he's talking shrooms and needles. <laughs> um, Kamal says a gothic garden would be fine too. What is a gothic garden though? What would a gothic garden really be? Or if you mean, I mean, um, we could use his early bush. I mean, there's no reason we couldn't. I'm not saying it, it looks odd. It doesn't look odd. Just worried it might be a bit too well groomed for something that's been overrun and, and left abandoned for, you know, hundreds of years sort of thing. Um, I just don't know what else I might have here that might look cool. I have a dog rose, which again we used in the other um, landscape, but it's not quite as cultivated as the Azali bush. It's a little bit more raggedy looking. So it might look cool. So I'm just going to um, remove the azalea bush. And I don't have the dog rose, I don't think, in here, so we may have to pull it in. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't. So let's bring the dog rose in. It's not as manicured. Manicured was the word I was looking for and I couldn't find. Yeah, um, the azalea bushes look a bit too manicured, I think, for something that's uh, been abandoned. So let's see what the dog rose looks like. We're going to put a single in. Again, I've got to wait for it to compile the shader. Good chance we're going to have a copy. Snobby Girls. <laughs> coffee, yes. <laughs> coffee. Uh, Snobby Girls says, no clue what a gothic garden would look like. Uh, try Googling and yeah, most of the results were for a goth garden. Can a map can imagine what that would look like. I think Kamal just meant you can have a garden in a gothic cathedral place or yeah, I think that's what he meant. Uh, so yeah, the dog rose. Let's just select that and scale it up. Move it in. So yeah, the dog rose is just a little bit not as um, uh, what was the word I just said? <laughs> it, it's a bit messier. It doesn't look quite as pruned as uh, as the azalea bush. A little bit wilder looking. I just rotate it a little bit. Deselect it so we can have a proper look at it. Yeah, I think I think 
that's more interesting. The azalea was too well groomed. But we still need something else here. But I'm going to jib, uh, I'm going to put one more of these on the other side. So. You'll notice I'm doing this too through the foliage tool. It, uh, it, it's really fiddly to work this way. Like normally I would just drag the azalea bush in and, and work with it that way, which you can still do. But for performance, it's more performant to actually use the foliage tool because uh, the engine automatically can instance stuff. Whereas if you do it just by dragging and dropping this way, um, with foliage, I believe that it won't instance it. So doing it through the foliage tool is the best way to go. Um, Smurf says, blacker than the blackest black times infinity. We're talking about a gothic garden. Uh, Kamal says, oh, old tombs, crows, skulls, stuff like that. Okay. I'd have to make all of that though. <laughs> um, because yeah, I thought about putting a cemetery behind the, uh, behind the church ruin, but yeah. maybe if we get time before release, I've just got so much other stuff I've got to work on in the game. A garden full of black roses, yeah, no, I get it, I get all of that. Snappy Girl says Smurf, yeah, black looking flowers everywhere, and yes, a lot of them did have tombstones. Yeah, and again, I did think about putting uh, tombstones or a graveyard behind the, um, behind the ruin. Uh, and I, I, and I think it is a good idea. Um, I just... Uh, yeah, I'd either have to get one of the other 3D guys to make the assets or I'd have to do it myself and I just don't have time at the moment because I've got so much else I have to um, work on for the game. It's not done yet. So. But we can, so I can certainly try if we get time before release. Make sure the height of these is correct. Might be a little bit big. Again, I just want to make sure they're actually in the ground. Says Android Android last, last, uh, Android last excellent idea, uh, and uh, he said he says Snappy Girl poisonous mushrooms too. Snappy Girl says to Kamal, why the hell not? Android Lust says put nightshade in there while you're at it. Snappy Girl says uh, that wasn't for you. Looked up Gothic Garden and mostly came up with Goth Garden image results on Google. Kamal says uh, good designers, good ideas, good gardening results. Snappy Girl says, I mean, I can't tell, you can't tell me this doesn't look so depressing. Let's have a look. I'm curious. I'm talking about a goth garden. Well, everything about goth is supposed to be depressing, isn't it? <laughs> That's the whole point of goth. <sighs> That's my website, guys. If you're new to my channel and you want to know more about me, go to fildos3dwither.com. Oh, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. So we have lots of um, creepy looking statue things. A lot of brown <laughs> uh, plant material, like plants with brown leaves. Not the most attractive garden though. I mean, I, I like the little window here, that's pretty cool. 
little gothic window. I couldn't, I couldn't have a garden just full of brown plants like this. That would just no. I mean, that's, I know that's the point, but. Uh, Android Love says, Phil, have you thought of adding insect emitters, like a subtle amount of flies? Uh, we use, uh, we're using fireflies in the manor house, so we do have a, a particle system with, which has yellow and blue fireflies, I believe they are, uh, in the manor house. Um, I don't know that I want to put fireflies in this part of the forest. Because uh, basically once you're in the manor house, in that landscape, it's a little bit more... Um, magical because yeah you, you enter the landscape the gates slam shut behind you so you can't get out and that's where we have the fireflies along the path and in the forest um so i don't know i want to add fireflies here i don't want this this forest to be quite as magical i want it to be more abandoned and overrun i mean even though we do have a sign here saying the forest is cursed or something i think yeah this forest is cursed um yeah, I want to keep the more magical looking fireflies, I think, for the manor house only. And this one's just going to be an overrun abandoned forest. Uh, so you think that that uh, goth garden that uh, she linked, that Sniper Girl linked to, looks pretty? Uh, I don't, I don't, too much brown. Um, Sniper Girl says any other plant would be dead if it looked like that. Smurf says scarab beetles, they're Egyptian, aren't they? Uh, and meat hanging from hooks. <laughs> Let's throw every trope we can think of into the game. Uh, scarab beetles, yeah, they're they're Egyptian, so I don't think so. Although the um, in the game, when you get to the third landscape, which we haven't done yet, um, and go down into the crypt, that's based. That's got an Egyptian -y theme to it. It's not it's not Egyptian, but it's uh, Egyptian themey based. So it's sort of like a, it, it, it's, it's hard to describe and I actually, I actually made the assets for it. So it's like an, it's like a cross between Egyptian and, uh, Art Nouveau, Art Deco. It's sort of like a mix of Egyptian and Deco mashed into one. The assets I created for the crypt, they're, they're, they're interesting, unusual. So yeah, we do have an Egyptian-y sort of crypt going on. Or we will have once I, once uh, me and the guys set it up, <laughs> which we'll do when we get to the third landscape, which will be soon actually. Once this once this landscape is finished, uh, then we're going to look at doing the third landscape. But I I need to actually look at doing a little bit more work in the manor house, and I, we have to finish that landscape actually. The uh, the manor house landscape we haven't done that yet. We've only got a couple of areas to work on. But I have to put the basement in, and then I have to put the lift in. And then we're going to jump to the third landscape soon. All the assets are created, we just have to set it up in Unreal. Uh, Android Lust says, I meant normal flies. Oh, essentially just black dots. Oh, no, no. I haven't thought about that. Maybe. Maybe in the crypt. Maybe in one of the crypts. Because they're supposed to be pretty creepy and... There's no meat hanging from hooks or anything, but... Uh, Euro says, hot... Hockey mask laying on a windowsill. <laughs> uh, what about Freddy Krueger's, um... Knife gloves? Maybe one of his knife gloves sitting somewhere on the ground? I don't know. Let's bring all the old horror... horror... villains in. You get sued doing that, actually. The hockey mask, probably not, but the uh, Freddy Krueger glove, you probably would. Uh, Snappy Girl says, you're a witch doctor mask as well. Smurf says, what, what if dung beetles rolling their balls all over the ground with the balls of meat instead of poo? Uh, wow. Uh, Snappy Girl says, you, you need a jigsaw style trap too. <laughs> You're talking about uh, the movie. Snobby Girl says, with a doll saying, let's play a game. A doll on a TV saying, let's play a game, yeah. Keeping an eye on um, OBS over here to make sure NDI doesn't freeze on me again. 
so, 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 I'm just trying to work out if I want to put anything else in these sort of um, planters. I guess the less is more, really, isn't it? No, less is never more. More! More is more. Oh, we still have to do a lot of work on the pathways actually. You'll, you'll notice here that we, we still haven't done any work here, like we have to... This is what I was saying to you guys with a, even a procedurally generated forest, there are a lot of areas that need to be touched up and done by hand. And the paths are a good example of that. Uh, but at the moment we're just concentrating on um, beautifying a specific area. Now some people says more is more if you're not insane. Uh, <laughs> Yuri says thanks, you're welcome. Snappy girl says. Um, 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 um. I don't know that we need anything more by the entryway here. We don't want to fill it up too much. But I just want to look through the grounds to see what I can do here. Um, we can put a pathway in. Yuri says, I gave my prime sub to some rando this month already. Oh, Sniper Girl, she's gifted another tier. She's gifted a sub to Euro. Thank you, Sniper Girl. You're... Girl, you're desperate to get me to play that game, aren't you? <laughs> Thank you, Sniper Girl, for gifting a sub to Euro. Making it rain sub she is. It happened. Will it happen? <laughs> Hang on, what are we saying? Wondering when Phil will notice. There we go, I noticed. <laughs> yes, thank you, Snappy Girl. So she's gifted a, a sub to Kamal and one to uh to Euro and yesterday she gifted one to Sm uh Smurfery Barbecue, so Android Lust says she's coming for my second place. She is. Thank you, Snappy Girl, for gifting those subs. Uh, so I'm assuming that uh, my next stream will be when you want me to play that game. But again, give me a little bit of notice before we actually do it. Uh, I'm just going to do a save here because we haven't done a save for a while. So we probably should. And again, I like to save the landscape I'm working on separately just to be on the safe side. Um, Snappy Girl says to Andrew's last will let you stay at second place. So yeah, I'm trying to determine whether I want to put a path in here or not. And I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, Snappy Girl says, sadly I still won't have enough. Oh, okay, 29,046 points. I don't think I'll have enough by then. Oh, you've got another 15 minutes of my stream to get a few more points for today. But you're probably right, you probably won't. Which is good, because that means when I come back, not because I'm, you guys know I'm not streaming next week, but I'm back the week after, so just one week. Meetings next week. Um, it'll be like I'll be streaming and then you can get the rest of the points on that day and you can say I want you to play this tomorrow and then I can post to my Twitter and all that jazz. So probably a good idea. It probably works out well anyway. Android Lust says good because I will swipe for it. <laughs> Sniper Girl says 15 minutes won't be enough. So either way you still get a day off. Okay. So and it's, it's probably better like I said from from everyone's point of view because then you can give me a bit of a heads up once you've got your point up to 30,000 and I can post to Twitter before I start the next stream telling them that they can laugh their ass off watching me playing a pony game. Uh, I don't know 
have the path in. Doesn't need a path. I mean, the player can pretty much see where they're going here. I was considering putting something around the outside of the building, but I don't know if that needs it either. What else I got to play with here anyway? Let me see if anything else could look cool. Yeah, Snappy Girl says, and tell them to blame me. I'm fine with that. I, I will. I'll, I will say I'm blaming a viewer for making me play the game. Um, yeah, that's right. I was looking at this, wasn't I? Let's just see what these look like. These are just general plants. I'm just going to the horse riding tales. This the multiplayer horse riding game of your dream. Oh, <laughs> that's the game. Oh, great, wonderful. <laughs> uh, the graphic actually looks pretty. Looks quite pretty. I'll give them that. Oh, yeah, the graphic for the video looks quite pretty, considering it's such a horrible game. Um, I'm just going to put a bit of more ground cover around near the building itself, just to fill out these corners a little bit. I don't really like these plants. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them, but they're not, not a really interesting looking plant. Uh, this one's way too tall here as well, so I'm just going to remove that one. I might remove that one as well. that one. Yeah, maybe that one. Okay, I guess we should add a few more around the sides of the building. Uh, maybe around here. I wonder if I should turn off the density on this. Maybe over in this corner to fill it up a little bit. And this corner. And this corner. through here. Yeah. 
And then maybe some in this corner here. Okay, it's probably enough for those. saying Snappy Girl says uh, it's a night uh, a nightmare is a type of dream so it's not totally wrong <laughs> so you can't wait she says Kamal says it's about 6 a.m. here time to sleep for me take care thanks for being here Kamal for popping in and saying hello you have a good night's sleep or a good morning sleep if it's 6 a.m. then see you Kamal uh, so yeah that's probably enough of those plants What else I got? I have these really these tall um, pine trees. They're a redwood redwood tree, but um, we're mainly I'm mainly using those along the uh, on the, in the landscape. The landscape is divided by a, a gully, like a, a cliff on either side. And that's what the bridge is for. And I'm using the the tall redwood pine trees for for like mainly along the uh, cliff faces. So. I don't really want to put any here. It sort of it helps to sort of visually break up the forest area between the two sections. Um, let's do some ground cover though. So we've got um, if I can find them. No, not merry golds. Not backyard grass. Not branches. Where are they? Not oh, here, I think. So we've got these small ground cover plants. Um, Didn't do a cull distance on them, which I really should. Let's set the cull distance on these to 15,000. Uh, did the other ones have cull distances? I should check that too. Yeah, they, they already have a cull distance, so that's all right. So let's turn this one, this one, and this one on and go into paint mode. And these are just little ground cover plants. We can use them to sort of like to find a pathway into the um, into the doorway. It's going to remove that. I don't want those ones there. So if we put them there, we can put them through here. Here around the base of this column as well.
Let's put some through here. And some through here. We need some along the fence line here too. Just to help it ground it into the foot, into the ground a little bit better for like. remove a little bit from the path. I think I went a bit too much over the path here. Come on, race. pick this up again I think next not next week the week after it's, it's nearly done this probably just I just want to run over the um, interior one more time before I can say we can move on to another part of the game um, yeah so just just like a tidy up go over it one more time to see if there's any areas that I want to add anything to or touch up um, but let's do a save all. But I think we might leave it there for today, guys. Um, I will be back again on Monday, not next week, the week after. So I'm not streaming next week. 
but I'm back the week after, so just a, w a week break. Uh, so yeah, you're quite welcome. So I will hopefully see you guys not next week, the week after. And remember, remember, daylight savings starts in the United States. So if you're watching me in the US, times don't change. But if you're not watching me in the US, my stream will start an hour earlier. So remember that if you're not a US viewer, my stream will be starting an hour earlier after next week. So yeah, you guys have a great night and a great weekend. Stay happy, healthy and safe. And I will see you, not next week, the week after. See you guys.